Alright, good evening everybody. So I've just kicked off an imaging plan. Uh, last uh, weekend there, I uh, redid the entire setup of the H11 uh, on top of the CGX. Uh, I had a lot of problems getting uh, the star alignment and poor alignment. Uh, for whatever reason, I kept forgetting where it was. Uh, so I eventually got it set up again and um, PhD2 was also not giving me a good calibration. It's still not perfect. Uh, I'm getting a one arc second uh, error at the moment. Uh, but nevertheless, we're actually up and running again. I do have this strange circle that appears inside of PhD2. Uh, so I'm not sure where that is. If it's light leakage uh, of the laptop on logged in or wherever, but it's something that uh, I'll need to have a look at and try and work out where that's coming from. So uh, the issues I had, uh, trying to get uh, the mount set up again, uh, as I said, the, uh, the mount was all over the place. It seemed to lose itself, uh, forget its uh, alignment. Uh, so I set it all up, did a full polar alignment and star alignment uh, a few days ago, turned everything off and today I went back to it. Uh, turned it on and just did a quick alignment and uh, everything's uh, appeared to be targeting correctly. Uh, M13 here, the Great Hercules, Globular cluster came into view. Uh, it was sitting just uh, just up slightly top left, so I just slewed it down a little bit and uh, got it centre framed. And uh, I've kicked off an imaging plan, 120 second exposures, again a one to one, and uh, I've taken uh, set up for 100 uh, exposures. Should take us through till roughly sun sunrise in the morning. Uh, the sky quality meter is indicating 19.98, which is in the middle of the Bortle 5 scale, and that's pretty much plateaued and uh, the best I would expect to get uh, during the night there. Uh, let's just see what happens. So that's the imaging plan running, image number 3. So uh, let's see what the next night is then will bring us. So I'll catch you later. Right, so it's the next day. I, this morning I uh, just got up and uh, went and turned off everything in the in the dome. I haven't got it set up yet to uh, automatically close and, and all that sorts of things at the end of the imaging plan. Uh, so as I said in the first part, and uh, sorry for the noise in the first part, one of the 3D printers was printing uh, a baton off mask off, uh, so we'll, we'll do something on that later. Uh, anyway, so last night was all about uh, M13. Uh, the great globular cluster in the Hercules con con constellation and uh, it comes up uh, pretty much from the sunset uh, and I've got it right through uh, the night uh, until sunrise so it's in a good uh, position uh, for a clear imaging run uh, all night so it's a case of how we get on so I've copied across all the data from the observatory laptop and I've got it in here. And uh, what I noticed in the light plan, uh, sorry, in the, in the lights, they, they actually stopped at uh, 20, past eight, 20 past midnight and uh, the plan uh, gave up. Uh, so I went and had a look at the uh, APT log and we can see running through the log that everything's running fine uh, through the evening. Uh, once it starts the imaging plan and uh, at midnight uh, or sorry just after midnight uh, where can we find it 18 minutes past midnight the last file was recorded uh, this one here and then it decides it's time to do its uh, meridian flip which kicked off at 19 minutes past midnight so it did its meridian flip and unfortunately it failed to uh, solve, or it didn't fail to solve, it, uh, it managed to solve the image but it went to uh, some wrong location and we can see that uh, in the imaging file here, it was stored a couple of images, uh, it's unfortunate that uh, APT stores the same file name for the before and after flip, it would be good to uh, see the two different images, however the after flip uh, focusing CCD and the after flip uh, image. Um, you can see it's stored in the temporary storage. Uh, the after flip 
is uh, nowhere near, or I don't know where that is. Uh, I could go and plate solve that probably and, and work out exactly where it is relative to where it should have been. But nevertheless, uh, as you can see in the log, it, uh, it gave up and we started to see PhD lose its guide stars and uh, it effectively uh, at uh, what time is that? 38 minutes past midnight it stopped the imaging plan itself and uh, basically gave up. So we're left with uh, only the images we caught uh, before that which was uh, 39 uh, imaging f uh, files of uh, 120 seconds each. So if we take a look at them, uh, we go across the Pixon site and we'll load them into the Blink uh, as usual uh, just to see how much uh, variation uh, there is uh, across um, all the images. So if I open all those images, I haven't processed, processed this yet so I don't know how it's all going to look. But if we open up all the lights Okay, we can see Hercules there, uh, or sorry, I see the globular cluster uh, smack bang in the middle uh, of the image. And if we run the blink, uh, 0.05 second, uh, we can see there's not really a lot of variation there. Uh, there's maybe a, a slight change in the focus at a couple of points, uh, and we can see there's some weird uh, noise around this uh, bright star, uh, which won't cause us too much problem, I don't think. So at the moment, I'm just going to go with all those images. We can see the images start to lighten uh, at some point through the evening. And again, I think this is down to uh, either the dome being slightly overlapping uh, with the telescope, just at the fringes, or it's maybe uh, just the sky darkness continuing to get darker, yeah, that's what it is uh, as, the, as the evening uh, is progressing. Uh, on the SQM meter, when I left it, uh, it was running at uh, 19 point, uh, oh, I can't remember the number, 19.6 or something like that. Let me just open up one of the lights uh, from the start of the evening. And look at the header. We can see we had an SQM of 19.98, which is smack bang in the, in the middle uh, of Portal 5. And uh, towards uh, midnight, uh, let's just go around here. And if it's header, uh, we can see the sky quality was up to 20.08. So not much of a difference, but enough to see uh, some variation uh, on the, uh, the images there. So we're going to just go and uh, push all these through uh, DSS and uh, we'll see what will come out of it. Okay, so if we uh, check all and register those pictures, we can see uh, what the uh, analysis tells us. So I'll leave that to run. Alright, so it's finished scoring all the images. Um, we've got a range of 580 uh, down to 64. Uh, which is quite a quite a spread, uh, and on the stars, uh, we can see a 220 uh, down to uh, 82 uh, in that worst one, that was a score of 64. So overall, uh, I could go and chop out half these images, but uh, I'm just going to do a pass uh, on it uh, with uh, letting it select its usual. Uh, top whatever 95% uh, and we'll just see what we get. So if we start to check pictures uh, we're going to leave it uh, 39 frames and it's going to use the median uh, median Kappa Sigma and uh, let's just go.
All right, so that's it finished building uh, the stacked image and it's just loading up now and we can see uh, without any stretch on there that we've got quite a uh, distinct cluster. So we'll open up that image now in Pixinsight and see what a stretch looks like. All right, so that's not looking too bad as a starting point. So I'll, uh, I'll go and have a mess around with this and uh, see what we can get out of it. Okay, so for just having a quick flick around, a couple of processes in the uh, Pixel Sight. I think that's where I'm going to leave this one for the time being. Uh, I might take it over to GIMP and do some other tweaks. Let me just save this first. And we'll open that image. Alright, and with GIMP I'm going to just tweak a couple of things here, see how it comes out. Alright, so that's it then. A few issues obviously still to try and address, like the Meridian flip and uh, why it stopped uh, the sequence. And uh, still trying to sort out the, uh, uh, the flats. Uh, get decent flats that will pull out the uh, vignetting around the edge of the image and obviously uh, trying to sort out the guiding still but we're still, we seem to be heading in the right, right direction so that's it M13 Hercules Goblet Custer thanks for watching and uh, any comments, feedback, how to's, tips or anything uh, for processing an object like this uh, do put them in the comments below as obviously the uh, processing side of things is not where I'm at yet. So I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much. Clear skies.